Hey, I am Deepak and I have created this simple tool called SnapCloud which helps you take a screenshot of thousands of URLs, post them on Cloudinary and returns a CSV file with a direct screenshot URLs. So let me show you how it works. When you get the tool by clicking on this access the tool button, you will receive a zip file that I have put here. So the zip file is called snapcloud.zip. Now you have to extract the zip file. So first of all, if you are on like Mac OS, you can just double click on the like file to extract it. So right now it's extracted in this folder. And if you see, you'll receive two files, app.js and then package.json. I have already extracted the same file in this folder called snapcloud. Plus I have two more files just for this demonstration. One is app.ready.js and one is urls.csv. So now the next step is since this is a node.js app, you will require to install node.js, node.js.org. Whether you are on Windows, Mac, you have all the options. For example, if you see, if you have a Windows computer, you can download Windows, Mac OS, and then Linux as well. So I have already installed this. Uh, Node.js on my computer. So I can just move to the next step. Okay. So now you can open the terminal in this folder. So if since I'm in Mac OS, I'll show you how it's done. So I just click, uh, I can just click right click on here and then new terminal add folder. So if, as soon as I click, you can see that the terminal is, is open in this folder there is, there are other ways as well for example i can just directly open terminal by searching this terminal okay so now the terminal is open but it's not in that folder i can just use cd which is change directory to move, go into that folder document save cloud yes so i'm back in that folder on windows you may need to open that folder and then hold shift when you right click and you will receive uh, you will get an option saying open powershell window here and you have to open powershell window let's go to the next step so i have to open this folder in vs code i can just write code and then a space dot and the VS code window will appear. So if you don't have Visual Studio code installed on your computer, you can, it's free. You can just search VS code and it, yes, you can install here. It's a code editor. It's completely free. And not to mention the Node.js is also completely free. So you, when you uh, get the app you will receive these two files app.js and then package.json you don't have to make any changes in package.json but in app.js you will have all the details for example right now my csv file is urls.csv which is already written here the batch size is 5 which is recommended i would say you don't change unless you have a very powerful computer a screenshot delay is of 2 seconds so when the web page is loaded the script will wait for additional two seconds before it starts taking the screenshots and then screenshot width which is 1280 pixels by uh, 720 pixels and upload folder is snapcloud you can change it to anything then you have to create a free account on cloudinary and then get get these details from cloudinary to here replace the this xxx with the actual details for example i have my cloudinary dashboard open here when you create the account you have to click here this programmable media section and then you will get this cloud name then api key and then api secret you can just click here to copy the cloud name the api key and then api secret and then paste everything uh, in here and you are done you just have to make sure that you have correctly pasted this cloudinary config details and then the input file csv path and just that after that you can uh, either open terminal in here 
and run node app dot js or you can do the same since this, uh, this terminal is also open in the same folder you can also do the same node app dot js okay but since this app dot js uh, i have not put any details uh, i would not be using app dot js here i have put this i have the same file exact same file in app app dash ready dot js and i have already put all my details that i cannot show you in the video so you will have to run node app dot js but i will have to run i will be running node app ready dot js okay let me and just click enter and it will start processing mm, oh okay my bad hmm. so it says uh cannot find module and stuff so first of all you'll have to run npm install so what npm install does is all the packages that are all the dependencies that you see here the cloudinary csv pass csv parser csv writer fs puppeteer it will install uh, for your application and then you can use it so let's wait for it it may take a minute depending on your internet speed okay everything is installed and now i can run the same i can do the same uh, node sorry node in my case it will be app ready.js but in your case it will be mostly node app.js so let me click enter and it should start processing in the background it will be quick and the tool is designed in a way that if there are any faulty urls it will automatically discard that for example you can see that this is an invalid url invalid url and yes so let's see batch 2 is processed and the batch size was 5 so i'm sure there are more than 10 urls that is why yes processed batch 3 all urls process and csv file updated and then you will get a csv file in the same folder a screenshot one you can see that in the first column it's url and then in the second column it's a, uh, cloudinary urls let me open my folder and uh, yes you can see that a screenshot one dot csv i can open the csv and these are the direct screenshot urls um so let me open the csv properly and okay so let me for example this is stock img.ai i clicked on the screenshot and here is the screenshot okay so yes this is how it works i i hope you got it and when you make the purchase of the tool you will also receive a detailed documentation explaining everything in written and video format so hope this helps and see you in the next video